the BBC is set to slash 100 hours worth of programming in the coming year, while the licence fee continues to rise. With the BBC projecting a total deficit of almost £500 million, there will be a sharp decrease in new dramas, soaps and documentaries, with daytime favourites Doctors Already Axed. Uh, joining us now is media commentator Nigel Pauly. Yeah. Hi, Nigel. Um, if I gave you the task, if I gave you the task uh, of... Uh, yeah, I said, right, you've got £3.5 billion, £3.5 billion to spend in the next year... Uh, you wouldn't be able to do it, but if you wanted handy advice on how to get rid of all that money and then still plead poverty, you must go to the BBC. They know how to do this. How dare this state broadcaster that we have to pay for, soon to the tune of £170 a year, tell us they haven't got enough money when we corporately give them three and a half billion quid a year, and now they're going to cut back 100 hours worth of programming, including top quality drama, the uh, daytime soap doctors getting uh, axed, CBBBs, uh, they're, get, they're going down, whatever you call it, uh, and so on and so forth. So factual entertainment shows are going down uh, to 850 hours. Uh, that's a cut slash of 15%. Basically, they are completely cutting back the, the amount of entertainment they give us because they say they haven't got enough money. They're swimming in money, aren't they? They are, and they also, rather annoyingly, are cutting all the things that I actually quite like watching on the BBC. Great, uh, BBC Four, where they used to have great uh, music documentaries and live uh, and, and, and arty sort of stuff. Uh, sport, they're cutting back on as well. They haven't actually mentioned too much of that, but what they, what actually is worse than you're saying, Kevin, because they cut a thousand, they, they cut a thousand hours last year. So they're actually just adding on. Uh, last year, they cut back on sport, they cut back on various dramas, but they're cutting back even further. So we're actually worse than we were a year ago, and we're going to be even worse than we were two years ago. So it's an ongoing drip, drip, drip of cutting. CBeebies, why? I mean, surely kids point. want to watch television. Why, why should the future of broadcast... Let's face it, they, they, they're, they're used to obsessed at the BBC, but they're cutting CBeebies. It doesn't make any sense, does it? If you'd have thought... Yeah. That would have been the audience they wanted to capture. Well, this that's is, what they, yeah, they tend to do. This is what I don't understand, because they get a licence fee as the public service broadcaster. And if I was going to categorise what is the public service and what isn't, I would say big sporting events that everyone should be able to access for free, gone. I would say yes. rolling national news, gone. gone. I would say local services, such as gone. local radio, gone. I would say children and education programmes, gone. gone. Instead, what are we getting? Foreign language drivel in other countries and blimmin' hundreds of podcasts. And inaccurate well, news. <laughs> the podcasts are, are, are the big thing. Someone yeah. said the other day that the um, the trouble with the BBC is that they're, they're, gonna, they're, they're going into AI. It's going to be even worse. We're going to have programmes that are not going to be made, but it's going to be AI. Yeah. AI. Yeah. They are enthralled to big tech and high tech. Now, we all know that big tech, high tech costs a lot of money. And rather than in competing in that world, the BBC have headed straight into the digital world while well, they've left behind us, I guess they're called analog viewers behind. Yeah. But the basic thing is, we're the ones who pay their wages. Yeah. I would quite like to see the open golf back on yeah. the television. Oh, me too, oh. Nigel. We've got to go, but I'll tell you, the BBC's not like it was in our day. It's no. going to hell in a hand. Nothing's like it. Thanks, was. Nigel Paulies.